you know, yesterday, obviously, the Hunter Biden fiasco, him appearing there within that committee of his contempt hearing, that kind of put your committee in, in the shadows, if you will, in that moment, at least by news standards. Can you catch yeah. the viewers up into what happened at this hearing? Was progress made in your mind? Yeah, I think it's important to know we had three uh, attorney generals, three different states, uh, one from uh, my home state of Oklahoma in attendance. And what we want the American people to know is that we're going to operate under the rule of law. And as the Democrats accuse us of playing politics with this, uh, we are saying this is not about policy differences. This is about the rule of, of law violation. No one, no member of Congress, no member of the judiciary, no, no president is above the Constitution. And in Article 2, Section 4, it lays out the grounds for impeachment based upon not just president or vice president, it also dictates civil officers of the United States. So impeachment is to apply to those who serve under the president, according to the Constitution. Additionally, it lists those three grounds of treason, bribery, or high crimes and misdemeanors. All three attorney generals, when we talked about detention, lack of deportation, um, all the different uh, congressional law violations that Secretary Mayorkas is taking upon himself to go against not just the will of Congress, that's the will of the people. When he has done that, he has violated the rule of law, and that is grounds for impeachment. That's how Republicans see it, sir. Um, and we've spoken to a number of GOP lawmakers who've come on and just warned about the crisis at the southern border leading up to this very moment, mind you. But here's how ranking member Democrat Betty Thompson responded to the news of the impeachment hearing. I know you heard it, but in case our viewers missed it, here's that sound. Democrats are doing everything they can to hold the line against Republican chaos. Democrats want to strengthen border security. We want to keep fentanyl off the streets. We want to keep communities safe. This circus sideshow impeachment does none of that. Congressman, how do you respond to that? Look, the numbers speak for themselves. We had a 45 year low of immigration in 2017. We have the highest numbers now. It's not a matter of monies, as they contend. It's a matter of leadership. It's a matter of the violation of the Immigration and Nationality Act that says if somebody comes into this country illegally, they are to be detained and deported, congressional law. And this, this secretary says in a memo to his employees, uh, coming here illegally is not enough grounds to de deport them. And so that's the reason why we don't see deportation. We see them being placed into the in in interior of the United States. When it comes to parole, congressional law, Congressional law says that parole is to be done on a case-by-case -case basis. This secretary, taking upon himself, grants if you're from Haiti, Cuba, uh, Nicaragua, uh, Venezuela, 30000 a month. Uh, you can come into this country and not on a case-by-case -case basis for a humanitarian issue. He's going to grant you legal access. Um, it is a violation of the rule of law. And in Federalist 65, Alexander Hamilton talked about what is the what is impeachment to be used for it in quote in federal 65 it is to be a bridle in the hands of the legislative body to be used upon the executive servants and this man um, is is thumbing his nose at the rule of law and whatever we tolerate we empower yeah. the house has to act because lawlessness begets lawlessness. Right. And the longer we tolerate a member of a bureaucracy to do what they want in defiance of the will of the American people, then that's how lawlessness is compounded.